Welcome to the very first video of my new series on this channel which I call I'll help you become a senior developer. Today in part 1 we are diving into a fundamental principle that can turn your code from a tangled mess into a clean and maintainable masterpiece. Curious? Stick around and learn more about the SRP, the single responsibility principle. Alrighty, so here we go. I've created this piece of example code in C-Sharp, but this also works for other programming languages as well. C-Sharp provides us with a nice structure, so it's always a good language to explain things. So what the heck even is the SRP, the single responsibility principle? You know, I'm a fan of learning by example instead of studying too much theory. So let's take a look here at this class because I expect that you are at least a junior developer and that you are able to follow along with mediocre and a little bit more advanced code, right? So there we go. We have a public class called user manager here. Inside we have three methods. One is called add user, another one is called send welcome email, and another one is called generate user report. So you could say that all of those methods are at least taking care of anything related to a user, no matter if it's adding a new user or sending an email to a user or generating a report which is based on user data. But from clean code side of view, we are violating the SRP. The single responsibility principle states that a class should only have one reason to change, meaning it should only have one job or responsibility. That's why it's called the single responsibility principle, right? Now trust me when I say that this is a game changer for writing clean, maintainable and also scalable code. I'm 100% sure that if you watch this video until the very end, your code quality will just increase by a lot. Alrighty, so that said, let's exactly find out where we are violating against the SRP. So. If the SRP states that a class should only have one reason to change, we should split this class up into three separate classes, each with its own functionality, right? We should have one class to manage users for adding, removing, updating, etc. We should have one class, which is sending emails, and we should have one class related to user reports. So let's do that real quick. Alrighty, and there we go. So now we have three classes in total. We have the user manager, for adding a user, for example, but could also be removing and updating users. In addition to that, we have another class called email service. You can see that right here. Send welcome email, right? Could also be another kind of email, just a reminder. And we have a report generator right here, which generates a user report, but could also create other kind of reports. And that way, each class has now a single reason to change, making our entire code base more modular and easier to maintain. Now, junior developers often skip this step because they think it's more work up front, but in the end, it will definitely pay off because you're avoiding spaghetti code. Alrighty, and now we have successfully refactored our code base to be aligned with the single responsibility principle, which is part of clean code. And now it's your turn. Did you ever face a giant monolithic class that just did way too much? I'm pretty sure that every software developer can absolutely relate to this. Drop your story into the comment section below and share your story with me and other developers. I think the biggest C-Shop class that I've ever seen in my entire career was a freaking manager with over 12,000 lines of code handling basically everything. And that's what we want to avoid. We want to split up our code in a nice and clean way. And that's why we are using Clean Code's single responsibility pattern, SRP. Alrighty, and that's it for the first video of my new series, I'll help you become a senior developer. If you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos in this series, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and to give this video a thumb up. Also hit the bell so that you get notified whenever we release a new video on our channel. Alrighty, so until next time, keep coding and stay awesome.